What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Respect and Pray Show with yours truly, Miguel Mike Medina, Triple M. On this episode, I have someone that I'm looking forward to working with in the future. I met him through because both of our projects were selected by the Dominican Film Festival in 2020. I remember reaching out to him through Instagram and then we just hit it off from there. But anyways, he's a filmmaker, writer, actor. He's into the fitness life. So you guys will get to know a little bit more about him. So stay tuned because it's going to be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to present to you Mr. John Torres. John, thank you for joining me today. You incorporated wrestling into your short film called Breakdown, which made some serious um, noise during film festivals. And I had a chance to see it, and it was a great movie. What were some of the challenges you faced while making this movie? Yeah, Breakdown was, that was an amazing experience. The only challenge I think I might have faced, you know, the, the movie was shot in one day. It was a 16 hour shoot. Um, and I think one of the biggest challenges was getting into the zone of getting violent, getting aggressive, um, and getting emotional all in one. Um, there was a part where I shed some tears and even after we cut, I couldn't stop crying because you're just playing with real emotions. And you know, that that was a tough thing because I've never cried on command before. So, you know, having to be taken there and having to get really aggressive. Um, another thing was the slap in the movie was actually real. And we had to, t we did like eight takes of that. So imagine getting slapped eight times. <laughs> I consider myself a method actor and I was like, I don't want one of those cheap fake slaps. I want to, you know, I want this to be as real as possible. And, um, you know, that was about the only challenge. Everything else was fun. Everything went smooth and, you know, it's a great short film. You are a person that's very dedicated to the fitness life. Is there any consideration of becoming a fitness trader? a fitness trainer or possibly starting your own gym in the future oh yeah uh the fitness life is my life you know um that's like my sanctuary that's my safe haven uh therapy whatever you want to call it i love working out fitness trainer no i've tried it before and i don't have the patience you know um i've dealt with a lot of customers or clients that you know play around too much they don't take it serious i don't have it feels like babysitting to me but owning a gym definitely is in my bucket list i always wanted to own my own gym or even if i own property and build the gym there like kind of like what the rock has that'll be perfect you know um away from people just me and iron would be perfect but I've definitely thought about owning a gym. It's probably in my bucket list somewhere in the future. I see myself opening a gym. Attitude era or ruthless aggression era? Don't get me wrong. I love the attitude era. Uh, I feel like that was the storylines were like fire but attitude era, I mean, uh, the ruthless aggression era, I would have to, that one takes it because that's where the wrestling came in. You had the Kurt Angles, the Chris Benoit's, the Eddie Guerrero's, the uh, Dean Malenko's. You had, oh, you had everything, man. You even had Team Angle, everything, man. You really had to bring it. You know, that's, that's what you really, you know, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, it was just, yeah. I would go with ruthless, uh, the Ruthless Aggression Era. Biggest superstar in the company, The Rock or Stone Cold? The biggest superstar, whether it be Stone Cold or The Rock, that is a tough one. Um, wow. <laughs> when you hear the glass shatter, the building falls apart. When you hear 
you know, if you smell what the rock is cooking, the the house falls apart. But I would have to say Stone Cold. Just because Stone Cold was hot before the rock and remained hot when the rock became hot. So I look at it like Hulk Hogan Ultimate Warrior, where Hulk Hogan was like a cemented uh giant and then uh ultimate warrior was the most electrifying man at the time so it's like you have the giant and the most electrifying how the stone cone was i feel like was bigger directing or acting directing or acting i like acting you know but i feel like some sometime down the line directing you know would be more laid back more chill there's more supervision, more hands-on. Uh, you have to be on top of everything. Um, but I do like the, I, I do like to paint the picture as well. So, but I do love acting. I love the action. What are you about you? You like acting? Yeah, yeah, he likes acting. Best place to travel: Montego Bay or Nassau, Bahamas. I don't know about the bay. But I'll go with the Bahamas. I haven't been to Montego Bay, but I've been to Nassau. But Montego Bay is definitely on my bucket list. <laughs> Last but not least, chicken breast or salmon? I would go with chicken. I don't like salmon too much. But when I'm getting lean, salmon does the job. And I feel like salmon is just a better tool. But flavor wise when i'm not you know on a strict diet chicken i go crazy on chicken you like chicken he likes chicken where can we follow you on social media be sure to follow me at johnny reels on instagram that is johnny r-e-e-l-z as in highlight reels but with a z don't forget the z man john Thank you for taking the time to do this interview with me. Much respect and praise to you. That's what this show is all about. Giving people their respect, their praise, their flowers for everything that they're doing in their career so far, helping them gain more exposure. So thank you once again for doing this with me and best of luck to you, man. No, 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 thank you. It's been my pleasure. I love talking about these things. Hopefully we can do uh, more of these in the future and, you know, keep grinding, keep doing your thing, man. You are destined and bound for success. It's coming your way. Wait on it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the ride. Thank you. Words of wisdom from the little one. Yeah. That does it for this episode of the Respect and Pray Show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, all right? Don't forget, don't forget. <laughs> but um, always remember guys, have mutual respect, mutual love, and mutual admiration. So stay tuned for the next episode.